Hey everybody, good morning. It's uh, Saturday. Yeah, back in the garage again. Uh, found that I wasn't very happy with the uh, threaded ball valves. Uh, can't seem to get them to uh, to seal onto the PVC properly, no matter what I use. So it's always seem to end up with a little bit of a pin drip. So I bit the bullet and cut it all out. I'm gonna start from scratch. Here's the old manifold right here. Uh, it's all cut to pieces. Uh, it's the only way I could get it out. Uh, and I'm gonna uh, rebuild it. So next video to follow will be the newly rebuilt uh, PVC manifold for the Kranzler pressure washer. I uh, just wanna show you, I'm changing the, uh, changing the ball valves. So instead of having the stainless steel ball valves, which are like this, Right, stainless steel ball valves, one inch to one inch. I'm not using those anymore. They're thread, as you can see, they were threaded. There's a thread in there, real close. And, uh, and then when you use threaded connections into them, no matter whether you use PTFE tape or uh, thread sealant, I couldn't get them to seal properly. So, what I'm doing is I'm changing them for PVC valves, which you can seal with Lou Glue. They're slip fit, both sides. So they, they should work just as well, if not better. Um, there won't be any leaching properties from the PVC, as you know. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So everywhere you see a gap here, obviously this piece right here, where my foot is, that's where the, that's where the uh, CR spotless goes. And then all the other gaps are where the, uh, where the ball valves would go. So uh, look out for the next video, and I'll show you the finished product with the uh, new PVC manifold and the PVC ball valves. And hopefully that will, uh, produce a, a leak-free system. Thanks everybody, have a good weekend.